Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We hope you've been enjoying your day. Today we're gonna to be showing you the process of turning this room around. If you remember from the introduction video, this was the garage that was converted into a bonus room, then into sleeping quarters for the workers. I'm gonna warn you ahead of time that we are missing a lot of steps in this video because unfortunately, not a lot of recording happened. We have one camera and are taking on multiple projects at once and we are 100% new at all this. We jumped in with both feet and are learning as we go. So please bear with us. So not seen, we started off by removing everything in the room. I then had to clean all the walls. I used a pine saw and water mixture and a mop and just basically mopped the walls until all that pot residue was gone. I had Kid and Critter help me remove all the nails and screws from the wall, as well as the TV mount above the window. We then had to go around and patch all the holes that were left behind, and after all that was done, we taped off everything that we didn't want painted. Here we can see me in my awesome attire trying to follow the directions on the new sprayer that I convinced my husband to purchase for me. It was slow going as I was getting over the learning curve, but once I got the hang of it, the painting went by so quickly. I'm talking less than 10 minutes to paint this entire room, which came in handy when a few days later, I learned that I accidentally painted some of the room in semi-gloss and the other part of the room in eggshell, which meant I had to repaint the entire room, including the ceiling, for a third time. Once the painting was complete, it was time to do the floors. I started by scraping off as much of the excess paint as I could, and then cleaning and scrubbing the floors to the best of my ability. We didn't use any concrete specific cleaner, which was a total mistake. We'll see at the end of the video that the paint did start to bubble and chip up as it dried. And unfortunately, I really do believe that it was because we didn't use a cleaner specific to concrete. After prepping the floors, it was time for painting. We purchased Valspar masonry stucco and brick recommended to us by Lowe's in a blue and a gray. I was seeing a lot of people adding glitter into their paint lately and I wanted to try it. For whatever reason, it did absolutely nothing. I don't know if I didn't put enough or it was the wrong kind of paint, but it just didn't work for what I wanted. The original plan was to have blue floors with gray swirled in, like you would see in a resin or an epoxy. However, that wasn't happening. What was happening in my vision was not what was happening in the real world. Ultimately, no matter how thick or thin I layered the paint, it just wouldn't swirl in any way, shape, or form. It just ended up coming out really splotchy, but it is what it is. After two layers of paint, I did one layer of gloss top coat. So that night we ended up having a freeze and as you can see there was some crystals that had formed. I was really really disheartened when I first saw it. I kept thinking that I would have to start all over again, but fortunately it only happened on the top layer of the paint and I was able to wipe most of it away.
I placed some vinyl scriptures on the floor and then put the final top coat on and then it was time to put in the cabinets. All right, I forgot to record this, but these cabinets came out of a bedroom and we're gonna put these in the bonus room that she's been working on. But those came out of this room that we're using as the brooder room. They were, they were right here. Whoop, where are we at? Right there. So now I was able to move the, the brooder beds over so now I can walk all the way around them and stuff. So, yeah, we're trying to get them to join. Right now we do have a divider up. So, unfortunately it's cold outside right now, so we have to wait. But that's what we got going on there. Because this was once a garage, the floors are sloped. Therefore, we had to add some wedging underneath the cabinets in order to make them sit even. Once the cabinets were put in, it was time to fill them. I spent the remainder of the day organizing all our craft and Bible supplies. And there you have it, folks. This is the room as it is now. Is this what we wanted 100%? No. Are we satisfied? Yes, absolutely. We now have one complete room. It's a total 180 from where it was, and that's all that matters. We can always change things later. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Remember how truly blessed you are. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!